guys. I hope everyone is ready to work out. I'm gonna be leaving my shoes on today. Um, my neuropathy in my feet is bothering me just a little bit. It is kind of cold out and that sometimes makes it worse. So I'm gonna start with one of my very favorite jump board warm ups. If you've taken any of my jump board classes before, you're gonna be familiar with this warm up. It definitely starts to switch on the core, activate the core. Um, and also just kind of open up our bodies a little bit. So this is my favorite warm up to do. I am going to start on one medium spring on my reformer. This is a balanced body reformer. That is one red. I also prefer, even though I'm five foot 10, I really like to bring just for jump board. I like to bring my reformer gear all the way into the first gear. Typically I'm on the second gear because of my height, but for jump board, I like the carriage to be as close to the jump board as possible. Just gonna check to make sure that this is tightened. All right. So let's get started. I'm gonna wedge my soft Pilates ball right under the reformer frame like that. I'm gonna lay all the way down. If you're just joining us, like I said, we are on one medium spring. That is one red. I'm gonna start with my headrest up. Now I'm gonna pick up my right strap and I'm gonna bring it over the arch of my left foot, just like that. And then I'm just gonna extend the non-strapped leg over the jump board. I'm gonna cross my right leg over the body. So I'm using the opposite strap and foot. It kind of counterbalances you. Otherwise, I feel like if you do the same strap as foot, you just tend to tip off the reformer. So now we're gonna take it out to the side again. Right there like that. Sorry, it says I have a poor connection. I don't know what to do unless I haul my reformer all the way up the steps. I might have a better connection upstairs, but we're just gonna go for it. And like I said, this is gonna be released on YouTube later today and it's going to be free. And I'm gonna cross it over and then I'm gonna open it back out to the side. Just getting a little stretch right there. I don't know about you guys, but every single morning, my legs are always so tight, probably because I like to run. Um, I like to go for a run every day and that could be it, but I'm also not naturally a limber person. Now I'm gonna grab the pegs next to my ears. I'm gonna lift the um, non-strapped leg, the non-working leg up a little bit off the jump board. I'm gonna press into the strap on my inhale, lowering down. You're gonna feel that core start to switch on right away. Inhaling through my nose as I lower it down. Core switches on, exhale the back of your throat, taking it back up. Let's do about two more like that just opening up those legs just a little bit. Like I said, I am wearing shoes today. The neuropathy in my feet is a little bit, it's a little bit flared up today, so it helps to protect my feet. I also don't have a lot of feeling in them when this happens. Now, I'm gonna cross the leg over and I'm gonna create a giant circle. I'm gonna do three right here like this. I have my risers lowered for the later in the class. So typically I have my risers a little bit higher. So right now as I'm doing this circle, the rope is about to hit me in the face. I'm gonna reverse. Maybe if I bring my headrest down. Yeah, that's a little bit better. We're going here for three. I'm holding on tight to my pegs. It helps secure the trunk or my core just a little bit more. One more this way. Just opening up those legs. Like I said, mine are pretty tight today. I'm gonna come into a figure four stretch. I also call it a pretzel stretch and just hold. And you can even kind of sway from side to side. Sometimes that feels good depending on how tight those glutes and hamstrings are. <sighs> I'm gonna take that strap off. It's gonna go back onto the right peg. Now I'm gonna pick up my left strap and I'm gonna bring it over the arch of my right foot. Oh, this leg is tight. I did some deadlifts yesterday. We're gonna do some deadlifts today, actually. But I did some yesterday with some free weights and my legs are pretty tight. I have been recovering from the flu, so I haven't really worked out that much in the last two weeks, cardiovascular wise. I haven't been lifting weights. So I did yesterday and my body is definitely feeling it today. And it is not because I'm 44 years old today. <laughs> and then we're gonna take it out to the side. My balloon decor is by Lucy. These balloons were actually from um, our DPTV ambassador party two weeks ago. 
and they're still going strong. So Lucy thought it would be fun to bring it down by my reformer to surprise me for my workout today. So she's such a little cutie. Ricky, my five-year-old son, his idea of fun is popping the balloons. So we've been hiding the balloons from him. Now we're going to go into giant circles. We're going to do three circles each way. Those abdominals need to stay nice and tight. Holding on tight to the pegs to find, secure, to find a little security in that shoulder girdle. One more right here, which helps connect the core. And then we're going to reverse for three. Abdominals are tight. Maintaining that shoulder girdle connection. I'm not allowing my body to move around too much on the carriage. I'm doing the best I can to try and stay nice and heavy on the carriage. And now I'm going to come into that pretzel stretch right here like this, bending the strapped leg and bringing the free knee to that strapped ankle. And then I'm going to sway just a bit from side to side, opening up those tight hamstrings and glutes. <sighs> All right, let's get this party started. I'm going to take off that strap. I'm going to have, I'm going to sit up just a little bit. I'm going to find my soft Pilates ball right here like this. Here we go. So go ahead and grab your soft Pilates ball. We're going to place it right under your shoulder blades like this. So I'm just going to recline on it. I'm using my soft Pilates ball by Pilates Honey. It's my favorite accessory brand. All right, so now elbows are going to come down onto the carriage like this. I'm going to cinch my ribs to my hips right there. So I'm really trying to find that Pilates scoop, drawing that tummy in. It's like I'm pressing the low back heavy down into the carriage and I'm jumping away. As I jump, I'm gonna exhale and lift from that pelvic floor. It is not heavy, like I said, I'm on one medium spring. The idea here is to lift from the core. Those deep transverse abdominal muscles, that's what we're working here. Not the legs, though I'm toning the legs, squeezing the thighs together, lifting the kneecaps up. It is still all about that core. Let's go for three more. Here we go, for three, two, and one, now legs are gonna stay long, right here like this, just gonna pop from the ankles. This is a little bit more intense. If it's too intense, you can soften the knees. Exhale, lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way in. We're gonna do the exact same pattern. This time I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head. If you wanna keep the elbows down, definitely do that. Do what works best for you. Inhale to prepare, and exhale, lift away for 10. Again, squeezing those thighs together for nine. Lifting from that pelvic floor for eight. Toning the tops of the legs for seven, six, woo, five, four, three, two, last one right here, this is it. One, just the ankles, here we go for 10. Nine, eight, draw that tummy in, cinch the ribs to the hips. You have to maintain that scoop for five, four, three, two, one. Take it all the way in. <sighs> all right, go ahead, lay all the way down. We're gonna take the ball. We're gonna bring it between your calves. Then I'm gonna reach back, I'm gonna grab my long loops. I'm gonna bring them over the arches of my feet, right here like this. So the ball is gonna go between my calves, and then I'm gonna lift up into my C curve. We're gonna do a hundreds breathing variation right here. Let the head be heavy in your hands, elbows are wide. Squeezing the ball, we're gonna inhale, lower the legs. Exhale, deflate the abdominals, take it right back up. Inhaling through your nose. Deflate the abs, squeeze the ball. I want the legs to be heavy, so the legs are not doing the work. It's those deep transverse abdominals that are working. Give me five more right here for five. Squeeze the ball, deflate those abs and lift. Inhale lower for four. Squeeze the ball, deflate the abs and lift. Just three more right here for three. Two. Whew. Last one right here, this is it. One, hold it right here. Reach the hands forward. We're going into hundreds breathing. Start pumping those arms. Inhale for five. Exhale for five. <sighs> Inhale, two, 
three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Let's add a little leg movement. So as I inhale, I lower. As I exhale, I lift. Let's do three more like that. Inhale, lower, two, three, four, five. Squeeze the ball and lift. You've got it, just two more. If that neck is getting tired, you can bring your hands behind your head and eliminate the pumping. Last one. Now we're gonna tuck it in. Inhale, lengthen. Deflate the abs, squeeze the ball and tuck. And again, inhale, lengthen. Deflate the abs, squeeze the ball and tuck. Just one more. Good, bring your hands behind your head. Let's continue those tucks. Now, as I draw the knees in, I'm gonna lift the hips up. Inhale, lengthen, deflate the abs, draw the knees in and lift those hips. Remember, we're targeting the deepest stomach muscles that you have, those transverse abdominal muscles. Really try and activate those. You've got it, we're here for five. And a four, whoo, here we go. For three, two, last one right here, this is it, one. Nice job. All right, we're gonna take the straps off. They can go right back down onto the pegs. Have a seat, come all the way up. All right, so from here, we're going to bring our boxes on. That was a quick little warm up. I think we're done with this ball. So go ahead um, and ditch the ball. We're going to bring out our boxes here like this. And to start, I'm going to place the box in the center of my carriage like this. So it is smack dab in the center so that I can place a hand on both sides of it, okay? Now, pick up your weights if you have weights. If you don't have weights, you can do this without the weights too. So I'm going to place my weights on the carriage on both sides of the box like that. Okay, I'm gonna grab a sip of water. Hold on one second. We are gonna take it down to no springs to start, okay? We're gonna do 30 second intervals. So I'm gonna take the springs off. Now, I'm gonna walk the carriage to about the center of my frame. So there are no springs on. I have both weights on both sides of my box. All right, so we're gonna do a little walking glide like this, okay? So we're going to bring the box slightly to the left. So I step my hands in. I'm gonna do a tricep push-up. One hand is on the carriage, one hand is on the box. Tricep push-up. Bring both hands back up onto the box. You walk to the other side and then we do a tricep push-up right here like this. Step up and over. We're doing this for 30 seconds. I'm keeping my elbows nice and narrow. Abdominals are drawn in tight to prevent too much sway in my low back. My legs, my feet are planted firmly on the floor. So the feet aren't moving, it's just the hands. Really drawing that tummy in tight. Keep moving right here, don't forget to breathe. Breathe however you wanna breathe, just breathe. You've got it. Woo! We have about 10 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go to, just put a medium spring on just to keep the carriage steady. We're gonna do something similar. The carriage is not gonna move. We're gonna incorporate those weights now, okay? It's kind of like a renegade row. So I'm gonna do a tricep push-up first. Both hands are on the box. The tops of my legs are toned. Everything is engaged here. Abdominals are drawn in. Tricep push-up. Now I'm gonna step to the right with my foot and then this hand is gonna come and grab the weight. I reach it up. Replace the weight, bring both hands to the box, feet together, tricep push-up. Step to the left, grab this weight, reach it up. Now the weight passes close to the body. I don't want it to get too far from the body. Step the feet together, tricep push-up. Step to the right, grab the weight. My shoulder stays over the hand, and then this hand reaches up and it stays in line with my shoulder as well. Step together, tricep push-up. We're warming up those arms. I know I said it's a booty burn class, but I have to get everything in. You can't call it Pilates if it's just, if it's just an ass class, right? <laughs> Even my ass class has a lot of core, a lot of full body um, complex combinations like this one. We're gonna finish on the left right here. Whoo, 
I'd say we're nice and warmed up. <sighs> Catch your breath. Now, this weight right here, I'm going to go ahead and put on my, I'm gonna just put it on the floor. Now I'm gonna scoop my box all the way against the shoulder rest like this. Okay, and let's go to the lightest spring that you have. For me, that is a yellow spring. It's considered a half spring. It's not standard on this reformer. I had to order it separately. So it's not my standard light spring. It's definitely a half spring. Have a seat. Catch your breath. I'm still short of breath getting over that flu. Now, have this weight right here like this. Kind of hold on to it to start, okay? My elbow is narrow. My hand is on the jump board. Practice jumping away. Brace the impact with both the pec and the lat, okay? A lot of tricep is involved too, but you want that shoulder girdle nice and secure. Now, add your dumbbell. As I jump, I'm gonna reach it up. We're here for 10. Resist, keep the elbows, both elbows are narrow. Reach it up, exhale, lift for nine. It's like slow motion. This one takes forever. We're here for eight. Whoo! And seven. For six, how we doing? Five, elbows are narrow. Lifting from that pelvic floor for four. My shoulders are square at the wall in front of me. Final three, we're almost there, you guys. Two, last one right here, here we go. One, you've got it. All right, we're gonna go right into a side sit up. So I need to add a weight or a spring just to keep my carriage a little bit more secure. I'm just gonna pop on a red. So I have that extra light on there as well as my medium. All right, so I have a yellow and a red. I'm gonna come out to a side sit up. I'm gonna take my foot, it's gonna come underneath my safety strap, and I'm gonna push the carriage out as much as I can so that this leg can be straight. This leg has to be strong and locked. I'm on the hip, not the butt, okay? So reach this weight up, connect under the shoulder. So you feel that shoulder girdle switch on. Take it down, squeeze the top glute as you lift, we're here for 10. Cinch the ribbed hip as you lift right there for a nine. I did this in my class on Wednesday actually for eight. I love a good waist burn for seven. You should feel that top waist working, we're here for six. Whoo, five, that, sh that weight is right over my shoulder for three. Hang in there, we're here for two. Last one right here, one. Let your hand find the headrest. Bring the weight down to your hip, okay? So now, you're gonna close the door so the weight drops in front. Reach it back up, reach it up to the ceiling. We're here for 10, resist that elbow coming down. I want you to feel those lats and that waistline, whoo, for eight. A lot of work right here for seven. You've got it. For six. Five. Woo! Four. Three. Two. Last one right here. This is it. One. <sighs> Ditch the weight for a second. Take that arm up and over, really open and separate those ribs. Rotate from your spine, take it down. <sighs> and back up. All right, from here, we're going to ditch this weight for right now. So go ahead and ditch the weight. <sighs> Let's go to one light spring. I'm gonna do a blue spring, okay? So I'm gonna go to that light spring. I'm gonna take those other two off. I have just one spring on. We're gonna work in levels here. We're gonna layer the challenge. You stick with the layer that's best for you, okay? So I'm gonna start with my toes facing my camera. I wanna continue working the left arm and that left waist, my bottom waistline. Walk your hands down to your foot bar. You can also have your hands on top of the jump board. It's totally up to you. All right, I'm gonna shift my weight to my back hand, which is my left hand. I'm gonna drop the left hip to the floor, press into that left hand and cinch the waist, lift it up. Inhale, open, dropping the left hip to the floor. Now what I like about the jump board right here is it's keeping my shoulders directly over my hand. So it's kind of helping me stay in proper alignment. One more like this and then I'm gonna offer a challenge. We're gonna go up a layer. Now, if you wanna to add to it, this is optional. Walk your feet up to the box. So now we're a little bit higher, so it's a little bit more of a challenge. Your butt is gonna go higher as you lift. We're here for six, pressing into that backhand as I lift for five, 
deflating the abdominal, cinching the rib to the hip, Whew, lifting from that pelvic floor. Here we go. For three, my shoulders are staying over my hands. Two, last one right here. Woo! One, turn your toes front. Now go out to a simple vanilla pike. Inhale, prepare. Scoop the abdominals, pike it up. We're here for five. You have to initiate the lift by drawing the tummy in tight. It's like I'm lifting that low back up to the ceiling. If I had a low back tattoo here in America, we call that a tramp stamp. No judgment if you do. You're reaching that tattoo up to the ceiling. Now take your right foot, drop it to the floor. It's gonna pass through, kick it up for six. Drop, shoulders are over my hands. Here we go for five. Whoo! How is that heart rate? Is it getting up for four? Three, you've got it. Two, last one right here. One, whoo, come on down. <sighs> Catch your breath. All right, we're not done. We're going to go into some seated jumps. Grab both of your heavy weights. We're gonna have a seat on the carriage. The box is gonna stay right where it is. Okay, so I've got my weights out. I'm gonna grab another sip of water. One second. Have a seat on your carriage. We're gonna start jumping. We're gonna do a medium and a light. That's a red and a blue. Also, if you have the option to lower your risers, lower your risers. You're gonna want them low for some booty work that we're going to do. If you can't lower your risers, it's not going to ruin the exercise. You can keep them high as well. Sometimes I forget to lower them. So anyways, we're going to, you're gonna feel like a squished bug for a second. We're gonna come in here like this. Now take your weights and just bring them on the carriage like that. We're gonna do a couple rounds. The first round, we're not gonna add any weights, okay? So if you can, push your elbows into the box to draw the shoulder blades down. So I'm lifting up from the pelvic floor at the same time as I draw those shoulder blades down. Let's start to jump right here. We're jumping, we're here for 10. Tone the tops of those legs for nine, eight, seven. You've got it, we're here for six, five. Tone those legs, here we go for four, three, two, last one right here. One, one more round. This time, let's add some weight. Are you ready? Here we go, reach it up for 10, nine, eight. You have to really lift from that pelvic floor to stay steady. Six, five, whoo, four, three, two, one. You've got it. All right just the left leg, okay? So my right leg just comes off almost like I have a limp paw, okay? Jumping here, here we go, for 10, nine, whoo, it's heavy for eight, seven, six. If it's too heavy, pop that light spring off. You've got it, here we go, for four, three, two, last one, whoo, one. Turning to the side. I'm gonna take both of these weights, I'm gonna place them on my headrest like this so that they're ready to go when I need them. <sighs> Coming up onto my knee. We're gonna do some side kneeling here. Now, if it's too heavy, please take that light spring off. Okay, do what works best for you. We're gonna bring both hands down. Top leg, we're gonna work that left leg for the first half of this flow. I got hair in my mouth and I can't find it. There it is. <laughs> We're jumping right here for 10. Armpits are hollow, abs have to stay tight. Eight, seven. I don't want that body moving. We're here for six, five. You've got it. Four, whoo, three. Are you guys feeling this? Two, last one right here. One, turning towards your box this way. Coming down onto my elbows right here like this. Draw the shoulders down, abdominals are also in, okay? Here we go, starting to jump. We're here for 10, nine, really round and tone that booty, give me eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, last one right here, one. Whew, how we doing? Okay, we are going to come up here like this. I want you to take one of the weights, bring it behind your knee like that, okay? And then I'm gonna walk my hands down to the frame. So I'm here, I'm gonna really try and work that booty. Squeeze that weight so you don't lose it, lift it up. We're here for 10. Squeeze and lift for nine. Rounding that butt cheek, we're here for eight, seven, and six, five. Abdominals have to stay tight, we're here for four. You've got it, you guys give me three. Woo, can you guys feel the burn? Two, hold the last one. Hold it and pulse it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, feel the burn, woo! Four, three, two, one, woo! <sighs> A little birthday burn for me here. All right, pick up both weights so that the headrest is clear. Now you're gonna take your left leg, we're still working that left booty, that left leg, bring it onto your headrest like that. So you're kind of in a split squat right here. Reach down oh so carefully and grab your straps. I like to grab the tape part. Now I'm also going to try and have the hand weights in my hands as well. So in both hands I have ah, the ropes and my dumbbell. Draw the shoulders down, squeeze both glutes, hips are square. Keeping that spine long, you're gonna hinge forward. We're going into a deadlift. Yes, switch on the glute, take it up my friends. Here we go for 10. Spine is long, neck is long. I'm looking down at the floor, I'm not looking straight ahead. Woo, for eight. Switch on that glute. Now we're gonna power it up and go down slow. Power it up, woo, take it down slow. You have five more right here for five. Whew, you guys feel this? For four, hello birdie burn. For three, go down slow. Lift it up, power it up. Two, last one right here. Whoo, one. Ah, go ahead and ditch those straps and those weights. Try not to lose your straps though, because we're gonna use them. You can ditch the weights to the side. So just take those to the side. Now I'm gonna turn away from the camera. <sighs> and I'm gonna take the strap that's closest to this wall. I'm gonna bring the short loop over my knee, okay? It's a little harder with shoes on. I'm gonna get it, all right. The short strap is over my knee. I'm gonna turn away. I'm gonna come down onto my right hand like this. Good, now take the left hand, bring it on your head. Inhale, prepare. I want you to cinch the rib to the hip, take it, and here we go for 10. You're gonna feel both the leg and that waist for nine. Cinch that waist, make it oh so tight. Woo, seven and six. You've got it, my friends, hang in there for five, four, whoo, three, two, last one right here, one. Now, I'm gonna turn this way like this. I'm gonna bring my hands down to the carriage. The strap is gonna stay over my thigh for this next set, okay? Hands come down. Take the leg out to the side right here for 10, cinch that rib to your hip for a nine, switch on that glute, we're here for eight and seven, woo, for six, are you guys feeling the heat? For five, abs are tight for four, squeeze that booty, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna take that light spring off, take that light spring off and then bring the strap over the arch of your foot, okay? So quickly, and carefully bring the strap over the arch of your foot. Then we come down to, back to where we were. All right, from here, oh, hello, hamstring and booty. Lift it up, my friends, we're here for 10. My hips are staying square. My armpits are hollow. My abs, they're tight, yes. Seven, can you guys feel this? We're here for six, whoo, and five. So good, 
four, three, two. Last one right here. Hold it for me, friends. Hold it. Just hold. Hold as high as you can. Hold ten. Hold nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it down. Ditch that strap, friends. Ah, drop it like it's hot. All right, if you know me at all, you know that song has been in my head playing for like the last month now. Drop it like it's hot. It's the only line that I know in the whole song, but it plays on repeat in my head. All right, <laughs> you're not done. Grab those weights for me. Go ahead and place them on the carriage like this. All right, a little bit more work for that left leg. Okay, so you are going to take your right foot, the non-working leg, bring it onto the floor like that. So we're standing in the well. Press the heels of your hands into the jump board. Find a nice, strong, secure shoulder girl connection. Press it out. We're right here like this. Practicing this here, hips are square, rounding that booty, standing leg is soft. You got it? All right, now pick up those weights. Whoo! Here we go, we're here for 30 seconds. Alternating hammer curls. You've got it. Feel the burn, my friends. We're gonna take a minute break after this and we're gonna do it all over from the top. You got it, 15 more seconds. Stay low in that knee bend, around that booty. Woo, how are we doing? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ditch your weight. One more thing right here. We're gonna get that left leg. We're gonna get it good. Keep your left foot where it is. I call these uh, floor taps. Stand into your hands, tap the foot up, tap it back, up, back, up, back. You notice my upper body is not moving, but that left quad, it is oh so hot right now. Woo, here we go. 10, nine, Eight, whew, seven, six, five, four. Is it burning? Is it shaking? Whew, two, and one. Whew, we did about 15 there. Catch your breath. Whew. We're gonna take a 30 second to one minute break. Grab some water and a towel. And we, start, we started with the, um, the alternating carriage row, okay? And we start with no springs on. We're gonna bring your box to the center of your carriage like this. So then I took both of the weights and I brought them on the carriage, but they're not gonna be in the way of my hand because remember the first set, we don't use those weights. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I'm gonna take all my springs off and I'm gonna pull my carriage out to about the center of the frame. So I take it out here like this. All right, I know that from this angle, you probably don't have the best view. All right, so this is the one where abdominals are tight. I'm gonna walk my hands to one side. I do a tricep push up, and I cross the hand over to take it to the other side. My legs stay firmly planted where they are. So the feet are not moving, it's just the upper body. We're here for 30 seconds. Those abdominals should stay tight. My shoulders are gonna stay over my hands. I'm trying to keep those shoulders square. You've got it. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your carriage all the way in. Let's go to a red spring just to keep the carriage steady. Now you can pull the weights to the center a little bit more. We're gonna go into that renegade row. So remember the first thing I did, my feet are together, arms are narrow, I did a tricep push up. Then I'm gonna step my right foot to the right, grab the weight, reach it up. We're here for 30 seconds again. Step to the center, tricep push up. Step to the left, grab the dumbbell, reach it up. I'm rotating from the spine. I'm also trying to keep my abdominals nice and tight. And my shoulders are staying in line with my hands. Whoo, you've got it. Keep moving. So good. Whoo, we have time for one more on each side. 
<sighs> Draw the tummy in tight to protect that low back. Last one on the right, or those arms. Take it to the center. Last one for the left, right here, like this. Reach it up. Nice job. All right. Now, we only need one weight, so I'm going to ditch that one. I'm going to pull my box all the way back against my shoulder S, like this. I'm going down to the lightest spring that I have, which for me is a yellow. And I'm going to come to kneeling right here, like this. Oh, my balloons are so pretty. All right. Elbows are narrow, both hands. My fingertips of the jump board hand is facing up. Practice the jump right here. Remember, it's like slow motion. You want to land with the elbow narrow, find those lats. All right, grab the other dumbbell, keep the elbow in front of the shoulder, reach it up. We're here for 10. Brace the impact with the pecs and the lats. For nine, you're gonna feel those triceps automatically. For eight, whoo. For seven, how we doing? And six, five, four, three, two, last one right here. This is it. Woo! One. Nice job. All right, let's add a red spring, a medium spring, just to keep our carriage a little bit more steady. We're going to go into the side sit up. Some people call this mermaid. All right, so I need to come up. I need to get my foot underneath that safety strap. The carriage is going to open just a little bit because of my height. I'm going to press my foot into that jump board. Squeeze the top glute. Switch it on so you feel, so the hips stay stacked, okay? I take it down. I reach it up for 10. I'm drawing that shoulder blade down as I lift for nine. That weight is right over that shoulder. Eight. Seven. You've got it. For six. Woo! Five, hang in there. Four, cinch the ribbed hip as you lift for three. Two, one, bring that left hand down, bring the elbow down to the hip. Feel that shoulder girdle connection. I drop the weight to the front, reach the knuckles back up, reach the fist up. Resist the elbow coming to the hip. The weight comes to the front of the body. Reach the fist up and then all the way up. Good, keep the elbow glued to the waist during this part right here. It's not to reach the fist all the way up. Does it come away? Woo! Here we go. Verse six. Five. So good, you guys. Woo! Four. Three. Two, last one right here. This is it. One, you've got it. Coming all the way up. <sighs> nice job. Go ahead and ditch your weight. We're gonna go into the um, we're gonna go into those side pikes, and I did it on a regular light spring on my reformer. That's a blue. Catch your breath. We're gonna work that right arm and right waist just a bit more. So now my feet are tandem. And I'm going to walk my hands down to my foot bar. Shoulders are going to stay over my hands. Shift your weight to that back hand, which is my right hand. Drop the right hip to the floor. Press into that right hand. Cinch the waist. Take it up for five. Dropping the hip. Cinching the rib to the hip to create that lift. Lift from that pelvic floor. Now, another tip is I like to press my heels into the carriage. That way, you're going to move from the waist just a little bit more. When I lift the heels up, I don't feel the waist quite as much. So think about pressing those heels down into the carriage. Now, if you want to add to it, and I think you do, you're going to walk your feet up to that box. Same thing is happening here. All right, inhale, prepare. Press into that backhand, take it up. We're here for six. Pressing into that backhand, cinch that waist. Lifting from that pelvic floor. For three, you've got it, you guys. Two, woo, last one. One, square off those toes and hips. Take it out to a nice vanilla plank. Armpits are hollow. Inhale, prepare, take it up. We're here for six. Whoo, scoop those abs, my friends. For five, deep abs, initiate the lift. For four, we're reaching that tramp stamp up to the ceiling, no judgment here. For three, if you got it, let's lift it. Two, whoo, last one right here. 
one. Drop the left foot to the floor, going into the grand kick. Here we go. Woo, for six. Stand strong into that box. For five, my shoulders, they're over my hands. For four, woo. <laughs> Three, I'm getting my birthday burn here. Two, last one. Woo, one. Oh. Take it down. Catch your breath. Woo! You guys ready for a leg burn? Let's get there. I'm gonna grab a sip of water really quick. Okay. So now we have, oh, it's paused for a second. Welcome back. All right, so we have a medium and a light. If that was too heavy before, maybe just do a medium. It should feel heavy though, okay? So now you're gonna feel like a squash bug. Grab those weights, get them out. You don't have to keep them on the carriage with you if you don't want to. You can also do this. Maybe I'll do that today. Bring your feet onto the jump board. Pilates V, heels together, toes are turned out. Push your elbows into the box. Draw the shoulders down. We're lifting from that pelvic floor. Here we go. Oops, I got to shimmy forward just a hair. Abs are tight. Are you ready? Here we go. We're here for 10. Tone the tops of those legs for nine. Woo! Eight and seven. For six, five, how we doing? Four, you feeling the burn? For three, two, last one right here. One, grab those weights. <sighs> the weights are always optional. Oh, but they add a little bit extra, a little extra, don't they? Ah, it's the icing on my cake today. Inhale, prepare, lift it up, we're here for 10. How many times can I mention my birthday? Probably a lot. <laughs> Seven, six, five, feel the burn. Four, three, two, last one right here. One, ditch those weights. Woo. Ah, right leg, okay? So your right leg is on, left foot is here. We're here for 10, we're gonna burn. I know, it's on a little pause. Here we go, for 10, nine, Eight, seven, if you're just joining us, we're on a red and a blue. Six, it's a medium and a light, woo! Four, I'm burning. Three, it hurts. Two, one, come all the way in. Catch your breath. All right, we're gonna stay with that same spring tension. We're gonna turn to the side, okay? As I do that, or before I do that, pick up those weights. Bring them on the headrest. They're easier to access if they're placed there when we need them. There we go. All right, I'm turning away from you guys. <sighs> Hands are gonna come on the box. You can also come down to your elbows. Here we go, we're here for 10. Those abdominals need to stay tight. Armpits are hollow. Eight, seven, woo, six, and five. How we doing? Four, three, two, one. Turning this way here. Elbows are down. Draw the shoulders down. Abs are tight. Donkey jumps. Here we go. For 10, tone that booty as you jump. For nine, go down and wait if it's too heavy, please. Eight, seven, whew, six, and five. Four, how is that leg? Three, two, last one right here. One. <sighs> here we go. All right, so I come up on top of my box like this. I'm gonna take one of the weights, bring it behind the working leg, which is our right leg. And then I walk my hands down to the frame. You can keep your hands here, but I feel like I'm a little too tall for that. All right, squeezing that weight. We don't want to lose it. Hips are square. Around the booties, you take it up for 10, nine. Now my core is not moving. It's switched on, it's tight, but the leg is moving. So the body's not moving around with the leg. Seven, six, yes, five. I want you to feel that booty burn for four, three. Hang in there. Two, last one, hold it high and pulse it out for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, so good. Going right into that deadlift. 
to bring both weights out onto the box like that. Now the working leg is gonna come on the headrest. So that for us right now is our right leg. <sighs> now I reach down and I grab my straps. I wanna grab as high on the straps as I can. I'm gonna pick up a weight. <sighs> so in each hand, I have both the weights and the straps come up. Hips are square, roll those shoulders back. You need to maintain a long spine. Think pulling straps from the classical work. Hinge forward, crown of my head is reaching towards that window. I switch on the glute and I fire it up. I'm gonna go down slow, stay connected under those shoulders. So my arms are not pulling, I'm pressing the hips to the arms. The hands pretty much stay where they are. The upper body lifts and I press the hips to my hands. You've got it. It's not about those arms. Those arms should not feel much of the work. It's all in that booty. Whew, how about five more? Exhale, lift for five. Crown of your head towards the windows. Squeeze the glute, take it up for four. Go down slow. Power it up. Two more. Go down slow. Power it up. Last one. Whoo, how we doing? Is that right leg feeling some love? I hope so. I've got a lot of corny little sayings to say. If you've done my classes before, you know it's coming. <sighs> Ditch those weights. Whew. All right, going into the side booty, pull, leg pull right here. You're gonna grab the strap, this strap right here like this. Let's take it over your knee. So that strap is coming over your knee. Looks like it's paused, sorry about that. But do keep in mind, this is gonna be uploaded to YouTube and you can do it again for free. Catch your breath. Whew. Taking my hands down, my left hand down. Right hand is on my head. Inhale, prepare. I want you to work that top waist, cinch the waist. Here we go for 10. If you're only feeling it in the leg and not the waist, you can also go a little lighter in your springs. For seven, you've got it, cinch the waist. Here we go for six. Abs should be tight, we're here for five. Whoo, four, and three, two. Last one right here, one. All right, keep the strap where it is. We're gonna rotate towards our jump board now, okay? So come up onto kneeling like this. The strap is still over my knee. Whoo. Your hands are gonna come down like this. Take the leg out to the side. All right, shoulders are gonna stay over your hands. Armpits are hollow. Here we go. We're here for 10, nine. You've got it. Eight and seven. Whoo. For six, five, four, three. How is that booty? Two, last one. One, you know we're almost there, right? All right, go ahead and take that light spring off, just leaving the medium spring. Now we're gonna take the strap and I'm gonna bring it over the arch of my foot. <sighs> Not as easy to do when you're wearing shoes. All right. All right, now I bring my hands back down and I lost my strap. <sighs> it's still paused anyways. One moment, please. Okay. Okay, here we go. Taking the foot up. There it is. Squeezing that booty. Hips are square. Here we go, friends. We're here for 10. Abdominals are tight. Think long extended spine for nine. This is an extension exercise in that spine. Eight. Seven. You've got it. Six. Whoo. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one right here, this is it. One, hold it, friends, hold it here. We're holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop that strap, shimmy it off. So from here, we're gonna pick up those weights again. Go ahead and bring them on the carriage like this. Your right foot is gonna be against the box because remember that is our working leg right here. Draw the shoulders down, soften that standing leg, press it out, resist it closing. We press it out and resist. Those abs are tight and press. Now, remember we did this for 30 seconds. Grab those dumbbells. We are so close to being done. 
Here we go. We're going to press alternating our arms right here. 30 seconds. We're rounding that booty. Woo! So good, you guys. How are we doing? Keep moving. All right. 15 seconds left. That is it. Woo! Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ditch the weights. We go into the floor taps. That is it. And we're going to end with feet and straps, okay? All right, hands are here. So remember, we hop up and back down. Hop up. We did 15 of these before. We're going to do another 15, 13, whoo, 12, 11. How is the burn? 10, 9, whoo, 8. Can you feel it? 7, 6, Five, four, three, final two. It hurts. Woo! One. <sighs> Thank you for joining me, you guys. We are almost done. Let's finish. My all time favorite is feet and straps. So let's go ahead, go to feet and straps. Woo! I need to lift my risers back up though. So my risers are going to come back up like this. <sighs> going to make sure my straps are the right length. Headrest is going to come up. I'm going to do a medium and a heavy. It's a red and a green. Here we go. We're going to finish the feet and straps. And then that'll conclude my birthday burn workout. I'm going to start with my headrest up. I will lower it when we go to short spine. So let's go ahead and lay all the way down like this. Whew. <sighs> I'm going to ditch <laughs> the headband. All right, I'm going to bring my feet into my short loops. <sighs> I choose short loops because I do keep my ropes kind of long. All right. <sighs> let's lengthen those legs on. Get a nice stretch. Tailbone is heavy. Those ribs are connected. We're going to inhale, lower those legs down. Draw the knees into your chest and then extend the legs up. Inhale through your nose as you lower it down. Draw the knees in. Those ribs are connected and extend it up. Getting a nice stretch. This is a reward for all that hard work that we did today and that you do every day. Ah, you need to reward your body. It's amazing what our bodies do for us. Don't punish your body. Reward your body. Feed it well, treat it well, and embrace it. All right, let's go into some circles. I'm going to lower down in parallel. I keep the low back connected to the carriage. Turn the toes out. Great big circle right here. So we're circling it around. Lower the legs down in parallel. Open from your hips, turn out your toes. I switch on the glute to initiate that rotation. And then I take it back up and again inhale lowering it down lift from the pelvic floor ah oh, that feels good after all that work it feels really good actually <sighs> let's go ahead and reverse for six here we go taking it out drawing the inseams of your leggings together for six Woo. Squeeze it right there for five, four, three, two. Last one right here. We're going to go into frogs. Let's go for 10 frogs. I'm going to lower my headrest now so don't forget to lower it for short spine. Ah, squeeze those inseams together. Resist the feet coming back in. Here we go for nine, eight. I hope you enjoyed today's workout for seven. It's an honor to lead you through a workout. So much fun sharing my love of Pilates with you guys. I can't tell you how much I love my job and how blessed I feel to be able to work out with all of you every single day. It's so much fun. It's a dream come true. All right. 
Now we're gonna go into short spine. We're gonna lengthen the legs long. Fold at the hips, press into the arms, scoop the abs. We're gonna take it up, up, up. Let the carriage close. We're gonna bend your knees. Bring your knees right over your shoulders. You're gonna roll down nice and slow. One bone at a time, leaving the feet where they are. Butt comes down and then we take it back out. Inhale, lengthen. Fold at the hips, scoop the abdominals as you peel it up, up, up. Bend the knees, bring the knees right over your shoulders. And then we slowly roll down one bone at a time and back in. Lengthen it long, here we go. Folding at the hips, taking it up, up, up. Whoo, last one right here. And then, Ah, oh, feels good. Bring the soles of your feet together. Enjoy a nice stretch. Pull the straps towards you as you push your elbows into your knees. We're gonna shimmy from side to side. <sighs> Open the legs out to the sides here. Hold it there. Bring your feet back in. There we go. Now from here, because we did do a lot of quad, I'm gonna bend, but you kind of use your hands to kind of guide the straps a little bit. Let the leg bend, so you're gonna feel a stretch right there. But again, keep hold of these straps. It's gonna help you feel a little bit more in control. I have really tight quads. All right, let me take it this way. <sighs> Holding it there. And bring it back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I am going to sign off now. I'm gonna go enjoy my birthday. And I'm gonna go, go out to lunch, do a little light shopping, then going on a date night with my husband. So thank you so much for joining me today. It um, was an honor to lead you through a workout on my birthday. And um, I hope everyone has a fabulous April Fool's Day. Oh,